In 2023, I did over 40 crochet projects. Counting down, here are my top 10. Number 10, the Crafty Intentions Jellyfish. Megan Lapp, the sole author behind the Crafty Intentions brand, is my absolute favorite crochet pattern designer. Her designs are so creative and intricate, yet pretty easy to follow. I've learned so much every time I've used one of her patterns. I also find that every time I ask a question in her Facebook group, I receive really thoughtful advice, including from Megan herself. The only reason this item isn't further up on my list is because I made it with glow in the dark yarn. That yarn is really stiff. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use glow in the dark yarn ever again. The final result was pretty cool though. Number nine, the Wobbles Advent Calendar Tiny Santa Sack. Overall, I found the Advent Calendar a little disappointing. I wasn't interested in most of the patterns, but I did like the Santa Sack. I used yarn from my own stash, including the sparkly white yarn from Red Heart Super Saver to give it some holiday sparkle. This worked up in less than an hour and was a great advent calendar item. Number eight, Little Muggle Seal. I have a coworker who loves the joke of a literal seal of approval as opposed to a stamp indicating approval. So I had a lot of fun surprising her with a crochet seal of approval. One of my other coworkers made the sign. My handwriting's not that nice. Number seven, Pumpkin Pie Slice. I debated whether to put any of the patterns I personally designed into this video, but ultimately decided to include two of them because I really did love the process of learning how to design my own patterns. There were a lot of drafts with this pumpkin pie slice in terms of how thick to make it and how I wanted to make the whipped cream, but I was pretty happy with how it turned out. Number six, the Dia de los Muertos dog. This was my very first pattern I decided to make by myself, and I think it's always going to hold a special place in my heart. Anyone who knows me knows that I love dogs and that I have never ending anxiety that someday I'm gonna to have to say goodbye. I really like the idea that on the day of the dead, your loved ones are supposed to come back to spend time with you, even if just for a day. So I wanted to create a project that could be part of that. I spent a lot of time debating different parts of the design and trying out different decorations, and I was really happy with how it landed. I ended up gifting this to my in-laws who got it a friend, and I'm happy every time I see it when I visit. Number five. The Chevron Baby Blanket by Easy Crochet Patterns. I have a review of this pattern on my blog that goes into more detail and has some tips, but essentially I chose to make this blanket because I wanted to try working on flat pieces as opposed to emigurumi, and I thought it'd be great practice with single crochet. I really recommend that all beginners try a single crochet based baby blanket. When you're done, the stitch will be natural, like riding a bike, and that will help you a lot moving forward. Number four, The Doberman by Hannah Daly. First, I want to give a shout out that this designer offers all of her patterns absolutely free. The PDFs are free and her blog doesn't have any ads. She truly made these works of art to share and I have a lot of respect for that. As I mentioned earlier, I love dogs and I care a lot about dogs in need of rescue. I adopted my senior dog Bella when she was 12 and she's now 14. And so when I heard that one of my coworkers had adopted Max, also a senior dog, I wanted to make something in his honor. So I worked on this crochet Doberman. I originally thought that my coworker might keep it as a decoration, but she ended up offering it to Max, and to our surprise, he fell in love. Max brings Minnie Max everywhere, from room to room, and sleeps with him every night. Even though Max is rough with his other stuffed toys, he clearly sees Minnie Max as something different and special, and I think that's just so cute. Number three, the Crafty Intentions Dragon. I already went over in number nine all the ways in which I love Megan Lapp and Crafty Intentions, and this pattern is when I realized I had finally graduated from beginner and was getting to be more intermediate, even a little advanced. This and my Day of the Dead crochet dog are probably tied as the two most time intensive projects that I am most proud about from this year. Number two, Pegasus by Little Aqua Girl. I have a review of this pattern on my blog as well. You can either get this pattern directly, or in my case, it was one of the patterns in the book, Unicorns, Dragons, and Fantasy Emigurumi that I purchased when I was first getting started. This is actually a really easy pattern. I made it fairly early in my crochet journey, and I included this so high up on my list because it was really a turning point for me. A lot of my creations before this one all had something a little busted about them, while I was really pleased with the way this one turned out. Number one, the Wubbles Narwhal. I knew when I decided to make this video that this was absolutely going to be number one. I've talked about this on my blog, but crochet didn't come naturally to me at first. In fact, the first time I tried with some yarn in YouTube videos, I got frustrated and I gave up. It wasn't until I tried again several years later with the Wubbles Narwhal kit that I was able to get over that starting hump. I also adore this pattern. When I wanted to try out a project to see how different sized yarn of the same pattern would turn out, I chose this one because it works up so quickly. I also like that this pattern is pretty forgiving. 
Here's a picture of my very first one. And as you can see, especially when you compare it to the one I made later, it's definitely not perfect, but it was still cute. So I didn't feel discouraged. If you're interested in crochet, but have struggled trying to just learn from YouTube, I highly recommend this kit to get started. I'll always owe it to this pattern for successfully introducing me to the wonderful world of crochet and amigurumi.